Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share troubleshooting steps when you face increased size in TEMDB. If you are wondering why your TEMDB size increased and want to find the root cause, you are in the right place. Let's get started. Okay, you found increased TEMDB size. You don't know what is causing TEMDB size to grow so much. In this situation, the first step should be to find which resource is holding TEMDB. There are only three resources which can cause the TEMDB size to grow. It is temporary, temporary user object, internal objects, and version store. Temporary objects are temporary tables, indexes, stored procedures, and table variables created in application code. Internal objects include work tables and work files. These objects are temporarily created while executing the query. And after the execution, these are deleted and TEMDB size is released. Version store is a little bit complicated. Let me explain it in more detailed way. Suppose you have a table with following column names and corresponding data in it. Now you want to change this name to A and create a session with snapshot isolation level and run this query. We know that in snapshot isolation level, in order not to block select queries, SQL Server temporarily creates version of this column, takes exclusive block on this data and then changes the value. If any select query is run at this time, this select query references the version of this data and in this way blocking does not happen. Imagine select query is being run and the session is not closed yet. In the meantime, another update query is run at time 2 and as you can see since select query is still being run and holding version 1, version 1 is not deleted but another version 2 is created. If another select query is run in time 2, it references version 2. When related select transactions are closed, version is also deleted. To summarize, all these versions are saved in 10db location, which we call as version store. And these versions contribute to the increased size of 10db. So we understood what resources hold 10db. If we find one of these resources holding 10db, then the next action will be to find why they are holding it for a long time and find cause of this long holding. Let's carry out these steps in SSMS with real examples. Firstly, let's see example where user objects are causing the TEMDB size to grow. Firstly, we check the current size of TEMDB and see that currently there is no data in TEMDB. TEMDB size is standing at the initial size, which is 8 MB. Then I create temporary table and insert data into this table by using this insert command. I run this co command for a while and generate around 1 million entries. As a result, my TEMDB size increased. And we reproduce somewhat the issue, right? Now pretend that we, we don't know what is happening. And let's take this increase bigger as yes, very big figure and try to understand why our TEMDB increased a lot. The first step, as I told you, will be to find out which of the three resources is holding our TEMDB. And for this, we run this command. As you can see, this query will show you the space taken by each three resources, version store, internal, and user objects. Among three, as expected, we can see that user object is taking a significant space, which means that the issue is related to user object. User objects created by an application or client is taking a lot of space. So the next step will be to find out which session is creating big user object. And for this, we run this command. As we can see, 58 is creating user object with a lot of space. Then we find login time and session status of 58. We can see login time and status is sleeping. Hmm. This means that session is started but not closed. This is causing the DB size not to be released. What is the solution to this issue? The solution is just close the session on time. Do not let it open for a long time. You should check your application code and redesign it, if necessary, so that every session is opened and closed on time. Otherwise, you face this kind of increased TEMDB size due to user objects. In our case also, we just uh, go to our session and close it. As a result, you can see TEMDB size has been released. To decrease physical file size, you should also just shrink the database. Okay? So please do not forget this.
You might ask why you should shrink the physical file size, right? Why it is not being released automatically? This is due to how SQL Server works with data and log files. Let me explain it. Imagine the initial size of the data file and transaction log file of 10DB is 8 megabyte. Due to inserted data, data file and transaction log file has become full and has outgrown by 16 megabyte. In the case of data file, we call occupied area as allocated and unoccupied one as an unallocated. Okay? In the case of log file, however, we call active and inactive. If we disconnect session and temporary user object is deleted, this allocated part becomes unallocated and active becomes inactive. As a result, you can see that the physical file size does not decrease. Only unallocation happens and free space is kept. By shrinking database, we just delete this X-ray increase size. That's all. Okay. So now we understood how user objects cause increased 10 dB size. Now let's switch to internal objects. If we run this command, we can see that internal objects currently not taking one megabyte. Then we run this query and we'll be able to see that table spill in execution plan. As warning is stating, 669 pages, which is around 5 megabyte write space in 10 dB is being used in the query. Since the space is released right after the query finishes, we can try to catch this space by adding file close in the query. As you can see, the space slightly increased. To tell the truth, if we don't have a very long running query, we don't face internal object space usage issue. If you face it, try to find warnings as shown here where a table spill is happening in execution plans. This is often due to not enough memory gland. Since there is not enough memory, SQL Server tries to use 10db for query run. For this, try to create index, update index, or statistics, which, are, which can often resolve the issue. Okay? Now we understood internal object and how to resolve the issue related to internal objects. Let's switch to another factor, which is version store. Currently, as you can see, version store size is zero. Then uh, we check our sales order detail table in AdventureWorks database 2019 and can see that unit price values are all 50,000. We run update query in snapshot isolation level and change unit price to 80,000. Very simple. Afterwards, in another session, quickly we start select query in snapshot isolation level. Then we go to another session and uh, can observe that version store size is increasing and the sessions which are holding version store are select and update query. We can see that since the update query session is finished, um, only select query is holding version store. This version store is not released as long as we do not commit select query, which was started while update query was being run. To resolve this issue and release version store, we just roll back, select query, then we check. As you can see, no session is holding version store anymore. But strange, the size is staying still. This is because it takes a little time until background process cleans the version store. Okay? After a little wait, we can see that the store is released. This is often observed behavior. To resolve the issue, you just need to commit or roll back that update and select statements or any long running queries in snapshot isolation level on time. Okay, do not forget this. In this way, version store is released and you do not face any version store related 10, 10 dB size increase. Now you understand how version store holds 10 dB and how to troubleshoot that uh, issue by finding responsible sessions, right? To summarize, when you face increased 10 dB size, just try to find which of these three factors are responsible and, and take necessary actions, such as closing responsible sessions on time as shared in this video. I hope that this session will help you to, to, to resolve 10 dB issues. Do not forget to subscribe for my future videos. Thank you.